Which you guys got another video here for you. Got an NVIDIA GPU, then you need the new NVIDIA app. When we right click on the desktop and go to NVIDIA control panel, you will see this is the old NVIDIA control panel. NVIDIA have been working on a brand new app, which is going to incorporate all of this into one application. It's in beta at the moment, but they are working on it. If you want to download the beta version of it, you can do. This is the NVIDIA app right here. NVIDIA app is essential companion of your PC games and creators. It gives you two options to use. You can either use the game ready drivers for gaming, or you can use the NVIDIA studio drivers for studio sort of work. So you can choose between the two. You can also uh, go from one to the other, depending on what you need. I'm going to be using the game ready drivers, but again, you can use either one of them. It also has an optimization and tune uh, your GPU there. They've added that across and brought it over. This will automatically uh, scan your computer and find out the best settings for your setup. You also got your game capture on here now. Instead of using the GeForce Essentials, you can now use this uh, Shadow Play, which is all now built in to the actual app. So let's go ahead and download the app here and install it. I'm pretty sure eventually the old GeForce uh, control panel will be probably phased out. I'm not sure how long that's going to take, but at the moment we have this right here, which we can use right now. It says upgrade to the NVIDIA app, and you can see here this is a brand new uh, release from NVIDIA. So you can see the NVIDIA app offers a unified GPU control center for your GPU graphics. This means that rather than going into the old control panel, for NVIDIA, you can now use it all under one roof. In this uh, NVIDIA app, it's gonna have everything you need right here. And then once it's all finished, when they finally release it, it will have all of your settings inside here and you'll be able to do all your gameplay and everything else inside this actual app. It's also had a major facelift and you'll be able to see this once it's finished installing on the system. So once it finishes installing, you'll be able to select your preferred driver. We're going to go for the game ready driver for games, but you've got the NVIDIA Studio driver out there uh, for creators. You can switch between the two, so don't worry about that. I'm going to choose the game ready driver right now. So click next. And here we can optimize games for creative applications and it will do for games and creative work depending on what you want to do. So I'm going to leave that check marked. Also enable uh, NVIDIA overlay. I'm going to have that enabled as well. The redeemed exclusive rewards, you will need to sign in here, but I'm going to skip this uh, particular app right now. And there we have our NVIDIA app. As you can see here, everything is under one roof. We've got access to our library, discover, and right down the left-hand side here, you can see we have home, drivers, graphics, uh, redeem, and settings. If we click on drivers, this gives you access to the drivers. As you can see here, mine's outdated, so I can download the latest driver on here. It tells us the version and the release date. Also, you can see some news down here, what's uh, new and also what's fixed. So if there's any bugs or any fixes that they've done, it will all be listed here. Rather than you go searching on the internet for these, it will all be nicely compact in this little own area. So let's go ahead and download the latest driver, and this will go ahead and install it and get it all ready for us. So I'm just gonna let that download. And once that's done, we will be able to install it. So it's gonna prepare the package for us and we can then go ahead and click on install. So there we go. And now a little box pops up here. It will give you the uh, express installation or we've got the custom installation. You can choose whichever you like. I'm gonna go for express and we're gonna allow this to get things ready for us and download the game ready driver for us. And you can see here it's preparing to install our graphics driver. Once that's completed, you should see something looking like this, where it gives you all the information about the driver itself when it was installed and all the useful information about that driver. So let's go ahead and close that off right here. Also, I just wanted to point out at the very top here, you can reinstall the driver right here. And there's also this game ready driver and you can change it to the studio driver if you wish by just clicking on studio driver and you can uh, switch between the two. So now that's done, let's take a look at the actual graphics. This is your graphics area here. This is your program settings. So you can see this is have a major uh, facelift compared to the old 
control panel and this is where you can turn on these brand new features there's two of them here rtx dynamic vibrance and also rtx hdr these are listed right here you will need to restart your pc to get access to the uh, new features but these two top two are the new ones that they've just added in again you can change everything from here your maximum frame rate you can change your dsr factors and uh, all the other stuff inside here as you would normally in your other control panel the global settings are listed all here they are going to be working on this and add in more stuff inside here you've got access to your g-sync right here if your monitor is capable for g-sync and uh, you can see here we also have some other like your shader cache size and virtual sync and all that sort of stuff like low latency image scaling and all the usual stuff you would normally mess around with the redeem part area here is where you can redeem your codes put your code in there and redeem them and this is your system settings here it gives you a big long list of what your system is your operating system you're running your graphics card the driver you're on your display resolution and your refresh rate and also the cpu you've got your ram and storage is all listed right here it's a couple of rocker buttons down the bottom here for your features for your nvidia overlay which i have turned on and we also have game filters and photo mode and there's also some drivers here automatically download drivers and let them choose when to install them i have this turned off but you can toggle that on right there also scan locations i can scan for all my media on my pc for all my games and it will list them all inside this application open up the control panel is right here so this gives you access to the old legacy sort of uh, control panel for nvidia not every single setting has been transferred over to the new app as we speak uh, but i'm pretty sure that eventually this will probably all be phased out and it'll all be in the nvidia app i don't know how long that's going to take we'll just have to wait and see but as of right now they've done the most essential stuff that you're going to be needing so you've got your notifications here this is for your driver updates and you've also got the about page here which will allow you to opt out for certain things and also uh, opt in if you want to there's also that error and crash data there where you can opt into that if you wish and there's a bunch of stuff about their privacy and other things like that so there is your actual nvidia app it's brand new just been released so if you want to give it a try i'll leave a link in the video description you'll be able to download it and install it on your system up here we have some buttons as well this is for our geforce experience what it used to be called you can see you can gain access to it right here it lists all your gallery right here you can quickly click on these and review them these are all your game captures you also have your record section right here when you click on this it'll ask you do you want to start capturing the screen or f9 to start that off instant replay you can turn this on and capture those uh, seconds of game capture that you might want to do and that's how i capture my stuff you can see here screenshots photo mode highlights and game filter this is all listed on this little panel here so this is have a major update as well rather than using the old method and again this is uh, all going to be starting to be integrated over i'm not sure uh, how long it's going to take before they put everything over or whether they are going to put everything over it'll be a bit of a shame if they have two options available like the old nvidia control panel and this new nvidia app i think it would be nicer if they had everything over into one application but i guess we'll just have to wait and see until they finalize the release of this nvidia app anyway that's about it for this video just a quick video for people that have an nvidia graphics card if you do then you can download the nvidia app and get it installed on your system and start using it right away my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next one.